In the time that followed the Battle of Sudden Flame, the good King Fingolfin's body was buried where the eagle that bore him away had set him. There, a great tomb was built for him in honor. Afterward, Fingolfin's son, Fingon, was named High King of the Noldor, and dwelt then on the throne of Barad Ithel. And after the defeat of the orcs at the Fen of Serek, Berahir returned to his homeland of Ladros in Dorthonian, to discover that it had been taken by the forces of Morgoth, and he would not have it. And so began a small rebellion with twelve of his companions, all the men who had not been slain in battle. Now, in this time, Morgoth sent a counterattack led by his lieutenant, Sauron, and they attacked Minas Tirith and pushed Finrod out so that he fled to Nargothrond, and Sauron took control of Minas Tirith, and it was renamed to Tol and Gauroth. This is where the story begins, with Berahir and his rebels in the forest. You are learning fast, my son. Only because you have taught me so well, father. Come here, son. Sir, we need to speak with you. Just a moment. My son, I need you to go on an urgent scouting mission. You need to be back in two days' time. I have already prepared everything that you would need for your journey. I will do well, father. I know you will, my son. We will meet again in a few days. Farewell. Good luck, Baron. Where are those deer? How does better here expect me to hunt meat when there is none nearby? <laughs> Perhaps over there. <laughs> he is near. What? It can't be. I... Uh, I Linnell? But how can it be? I, I, Linnell, come here. We tried to get him to talk, but he would not say anything. You were smart to bring him to me. <sighs> the race of men is so weak. Here, a gift from a long past battle. You're... <coughs> you're a monster. It's all a matter of perspective. Come now, bring him closer. I wish to speak with him face to face. Stand him up. 
So, I hear now that you would barter with me. I... I only wish to be with my wife again. Undoubtedly, you have captured her here, have you not? That is a small price for so great a treachery. So shall it surely be. Say on. There, there is a lake. <laughs> Near the lake. There is a camp. <clears throat> it is a hidden lake. <clears throat> that is where you will find the rest of Better Here's companions. <laughs> Very good to know. Now, please, give me my wife back. You are a fool. All you saw was a phantom created by my magic. Your wife is dead. No, 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 it can't be. Nonetheless, I will grant you your wish. And you shall go to your wife and be set free of my service. Fare thee well. Someone clean up this mess. Yes, sir. And the rest of you, destroy the rest of Better Here's outlaws. And then I took my mighty sword and I raised it. And with one great swing, I killed the beast. That's not a real story. Oh yeah? Then prove it! Better here. Come join us. I'm sorry. I have too much to do. Alrighty then. Oh, oh, oh. Ambush! It's an ambush! <laughs> Bring them here. I'll kill them all. Prepare for battle! Kill them all! No. <coughs> How did this happen? Father? <coughs> Father, you're alive. Son. <coughs> Son. You're okay. <coughs> Oh no, your hand! It was... The orcs. They... They took it... As a trophy... Because of... My ring! <coughs> the one given to me by... Finrod... <coughs> I will get it back! Good... Of my line. Go, my 
Father, 